what's up guys my name is Tech Number here for troubleshoot and today we've got another video for you that is touching on the google play unofficial desktop music player so if i were to simply go ahead and open it up you'd see that i get to this page here and then a couple of seconds later it'll show me the loading music page and it just sits there forever right over here now if i were to visit this in my browser you'd see it gets to this page and then it loads so from what I've heard of reinstalling this doesn't help fixing it, updating it doesn't help fixing it. I tried downloading a new update. However, I did come across this fix over here on the Google Play Music desktop player unofficial GitHub page. It's an issue from back on the 9th of October 2019. And the solution that people are saying are working is over here. Now, while there are Mac steps mentioned down here for Mac users, obviously I don't have a Mac, so I won't be going through these. However, I will be going through this solution up here from a DD Sol. So you need to download and install 7-zip as well as ASAR 7-zip. ASAR is the way that they hold all of the files inside of the program, and it's just a little plugin for 7-zip. So on 7-zip's page, I look at the very top where it says download 7-zip for Windows, and I'll be downloading the 64-bit EXE. Then simply just click on it, yes when prompted for admin, and we'll be copying this link just in case. Hit install, and once it's done, you can hit close, and now we have 7-zip installed. Getting across to ASAR 7 z you need to simply just hit the download button over here and it'll download a .zip. Inside of the .zip, we have three files, a readme, a SAR32 and 64.dll. Mentioned here under installation in the readme, it says to install the plugin into the 7-zip install folder, you need to create a formats subfolder. After that, copy the ASR64 or 32 into that subfolder. So all we need to do is hold start and press R, paste in what we copied earlier, which is C program file 7 zip, hit OK, then we'll go to a new folder, continue, formats, hit enter, and enter again. Then because I downloaded the 64 bit one, I'll drag and drop ASR64 into this folder. So at this point, we need to simply find our Google Play desktop music player icon, right click on it, open file location, and it'll be taken to this folder over here which is your username, app data, local, gpmdp3. Once we're in this folder, we need to make sure that Google Play Desktop is completely closed. So right-clicking on the icon at the bottom right of my start bar, quit, it's now completely closed. So then we go into app 461, followed by resources, and we look for app.asr. Simply control C and control V to copy it, and we'll be keeping this as a backup. So I'll simply just name it. I'll name it appback.asr, or you can name it anything, just as long as you have two of these files, just in case. And then to open app.asr, we'll right click, 7-zip, open archive. Then we'll navigate into build, followed by a renderer, windows, and then we're gonna open up the GPM web view file. Then we're gonna drag index.js out and onto something like our desktop where we can edit it, right click, edit. You can open this with Notepad, Notepad++, anything really. However, they do suggest to use Notepad++, so I'll be using that here. Then referring back to the issue, all we need to do is change this line over here to these ones over here. So, tabbing back into our file, this line is right over here, 17 through 19. These are these three lines over here. So, we'll copy and paste these ones over here into the file, like that, and control S to save. You can see just how much they change. They've just added a new line over here. So saving it, we can close out of Notepad++ entirely. And then we need to drag index.js that we edited back into 7-zip and then hit yes. Now we can close out of 7-zip. You can close out of your web browser as well if you'd like. You can delete the index.js file on your desktop and it'll be opening up a Google Play Music as usual. So I'm finding the icon, double click, We'll wait for it to load. And there we have it. We're on our main menu. It's working fine as it should, and you can go ahead and play whatever you were listening to as per normal. Thank you all for watching. My name is Bean Tech Number here for Troubleshoot. I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!